Hey Starshine, how are you? I'm TK and today I will play more Tangled Tower. Now we've gone around, we talked to everyone, we've asked everybody about everybody else and about all the clues that we've found. So there's a couple things that I know I want to check out. And the one thing is finding a way in here. So... A big glass door leads out into a garden. There's a little mechanism by there. This I still haven't figured out. Um, so let me, I'm going to take my phone out and take some pictures so I can compare the two. Cause I think we have to like make them match or something, but let me, let me take some pictures. Okay. So that's what it looks like initially. Okay, and then these are where all the, the sun ones are. Okay. So, oops. I keep doing I guess that. we'll come back later. Yeah, we'll come back later. Let me look at the other one. Um. It's locked. I thought we were. We are. What's that thing by the handle? Okay, so this one is Suns. Oh, okay, so... I bet what we need to do... Okay, and then this is where the moons are. So, looking at the other one, since this is Suns and the other one was moons, I'm guessing we have to put the Suns into where the suns are on the other one like that it made a noise i guess that was ah right. and the door's still locked after unlock the other one like we made some sort of progress. yeah we gotta unlock the other one too so they both have to be unlocked so for this one we gotta put the Nothing moon the door leads there's out. a little mechanism we have to put the moons here, here, like in a little zigzag pattern. Something happened. That must be it. Do we get it? Finally. Yes! Open. We get to go out and, oh, Whatever's yes. On the other side, better be worth it. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's another one of these it's guys. another little statue doing a really bad job of hiding in the bushes. Yeah. He's playing a loot this time. He's, he's got headphones, so yeah. Headphones. Well, they're not part of the statue. Clearly. They're not headphones. They're earmuffs. They look like headphones. Oh, yeah, they are earmuffs. Okay. Slightly weathered statue of a strange creature holding a loot. A pair of earmuffs have been placed on top of the head. Okay. Also, a swamp monster achievement unlocked. More egg statues. I don't get it. Why, Why eggs? eggs? Well, either they have some special significance... Oh, the sculptor was just really lazy. What do you mean? An egg has got to be the easiest shape to make. It's harder than you'd think. Um, the door into Poppy's room. So only Poppy and Fitz can get into the garden? Yeah. Ah, I guess so. More egg statues. I don't get it. Well, I oh, the sculptor. An egg has got to be the easy. It's so relaxing. I might just stay here. Oh, shall I go finish the investigation? <laughs> <sighs> That'd be great. Yeah. A little pond. It looks really, really deep for some reason. See those metal bars around the edges too? Oh yeah. What are you supposed to Yeah. Assume? Nothing anymore. Looks like somebody broke them and then never bothered to fix it. Huh. It's a rose bush. Growing on a little patch of bluish soil. Oh, the bluish soil. So yes, this was this was Fitz that grew these. Now, apart from a couple of loose petals on one side, the whole thing looks very well cared for. The loose petals are from when um, Penny took the the petals for her threatening note. The roses are bright red, too. Now, aren't roses normally that color? Exactly. <laughs> I bet this More is just stuff. yeah. Well, I have a small An egg has got to be the easy. Dragonfly. 
it's one big dragonfly. Or one very small dragon. <laughs> you right. Giant stone frog. Love it. Love it. Yeah, he's got his tongue out like he's catching snowflakes. Except those aren't snowflakes. They're, They're feathers. feathers. Four feathers. Are these the same? None of the feathers are from the Ink Dipper. His feathers were mostly found resting on the tongue of the large frog statue. Okay, wait. So we've got... It's... Is it these? We've got the one that's the yellow with the green... The green M. We've got a purple one. Oh, but we don't have, like, that turquoise one. And then there's a fourth feather, and there's only three birds. There's something about those petals we found in Penny's room. Something suspicious. Yes. Let's ask her about it. Uh, later. I want to finish looking around here. No, I already looked at that. I already looked at that. Oh, good. A bridge. I'm glad to know there's a way to get across that tiny... <laughs> Not all bridges are about getting across stuff. It's a vibe! Ah, a little water feature. It's making me sleepy. Wonder how it's hooked up. It's the door into Fitz's room. One of only two ways to get into the garden. Oh, yeah. It's the window into Fitz's bedroom. You know, he's pretty lucky. I wish my bedroom window had a view this nice. That's fair, that's fair. Anything else? The stone pillars, or what's left of them. Birds? Trees. On a roof. In a garden. Mm -hmm. In a garden. Oh, I guess this is the garden. So the greenhouse and then this is the garden. Okay. I can't think of anything else to click on, so... The door into Poppy's so, room. Oh. Uh, uh, no, no, no. So, I feel like there's one more clue. We gotta clean this out. But I don't think it's here, because I can't think of anything else to look at. But, we gotta talk to Penny, and I wanted to point out one thing. Can I, can I look at this rose? Red rose. How very... Yeah, weird. Okay, maybe I did look at that. But that's definitely the rose um, he's giving to her here. Okay, so I need to go talk to Penny. Uh, so, yeah, we found this. Oh, that. <laughs> it's nothing. You wrote, now I'll get her, on a piece of paper and hid it in your room. That's not nothing. Absolutely not nothing. Actually, it's not the message I wanted to ask about. It's those red flower petals. The petals red tulips are from red roses they're from red roses yeah and there's only one place in tango tower with red roses we need a clue something that shows the roses and who they belong to it's a drawing of fitz and poppy in the rooftop garden see what fitz is holding yep <laughs> hi can't imagine what you're getting at. <laughs> I couldn't have taken anything from the rooftop garden. It's only accessible from Fitz's room or Poppy's room. How could I have taken something from a garden to which I have no access? You snuck in! Is it really only accessible from those two bedrooms? For most people, it would be. But don't forget, Henny's <gasps> the resident ornithologist. My the dear, birds got what it! are you accusing me of? So, oh, the feathers aren't one of the things. One of Penny's birds. Probably was used to spy on Poppy and Fitz. Seal evidence from and stand, but it didn't work. One of Penny's birds was used to spy on Poppy and Fitz, but it didn't work. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. It's gotta be this last one. How and why did Penny decide to access the rooftop garden? One of 
Anthony's birds was used to spy on Poppy and Fitz and distract them. Almost. Okay, so it is this last thing that needs to get. Is steal evidence? What evidence? Poppy and Fitz and steal evidence, evidence of them being a couple? We know those two have been spending time together in the rooftop garden. I'm guessing you got paranoid. Wanted to know what they were up to. I'm just not the jealous type. I would never suspect Fitz of anything like that. Besides, Tabitha hardly ever leaves her cage. She's certainly never flown up to the rooftop garden. Why did you specify Tabitha? No clue to compare with Penny's birds. Something to prove one of them has been in the rooftop garden. A uh, feather, Tabitha's feather, this feather right here. Let's take a closer look at these. This yellow feather was left behind by Penny's yellow bird when it visited the rooftop garden. Haha, <laughs> you've been caught. I can't stand it! Knowing the two of them are hidden away up there in their private little garden. I couldn't risk spying on them myself, so I asked dear Tabitha to do it for me. I knew she'd be able to bring me back some evidence. Sorry, Penny, but are you not overreacting a little you don't understand Pitts is slipping away from me he's so quiet with me these days but being with poppy seems to bring him out of his shell i don't know what he sees in her miserable little i apologize this really isn't your burden to bear oh okay so my suspicion was correct did we look at this one? Check out that butterfly. Looks evil. Wow. Judge yeah, I remember that. Okay. Okay, so now we have a few more clues to ask people about. I think the first people, though, that we should ask about would be Poppy and Fitz. Do you know where those earmuffs came from? I put them there. Oh. Why? Found them lying around. I think they belong to Fitz. I put them on the statue so he'd see them. I thought they looked like headphones. Like he's in the recording studio with his <laughs> That's cute. Well, if they do belong to Fitz, he hasn't taken them back yet. When did you find them? This morning. Where? I don't know, in a hallway. I can't remember exactly. Huh. I see a lot of birds up in the rooftop garden. They seem to really like it up there. Why is that? It's quiet. Okay. So where were the headphones? Are these your headphones? Those are mine. Yeah. Earmuffs. They er went missing about earmuffs. a week ago. What do you need earmuffs for? I use them for gardening sometimes. Why? You don't own a chainsaw, do you? No. I wear them while I'm gardening, and it stops people from trying to talk to me. <laughs> That's genius. That is genius. We found these up in the rooftop garden. Do you know how long they've been there? No. It could have been a long time. We don't ever really clear up the rooftop garden. Why not? Nature is unruly. In truth, it prefers to be left alone. Okay. All right, let's go talk to everybody else. Flora's not gonna say anything, but we we gotta ask her just just in case. Oh, I like I never... these drawings, Flora. Is there a reason why you wanted us to see? I never them? asked her about them. No, she didn't say anything anyway. Do you recognize any of these feathers? No. She's not gonna say anything. Probably like the last clue we find will make her finally speak up. These drawings are quite precious. I'm surprised Flora let you see them. What happened to the bird? Did it die? I don't know. 
Seems likely, though, doesn't it? No. The statue was up in the rooftop garden. Yes, it's been there a while. You can see the brass is slightly tarnished by the elements. But it's not too bad. Uh, might be salvageable. Is that a clue? Really? <laughs> it might be. <laughs> no, it helped us already. Let me, listen, let me look at... So, Pointer is the only one we haven't gotten a suspicion on yet. And I don't know how these clues are going to lead to being suspicious of him. Leia drew these. Yeah, I think so. There's a note on the back. But she never showed them to me. Well, I think it was a gift for your mother. Like a private thing between Freya and Flora. Aww. What's wrong? Earmuffs do not go on statues. Yeah. <laughs> what a mess. Penelope should tidy up after herself. Uh, these weren't dropped by Penny. Uh, they were dropped by birds. <laughs> I think. <laughs> My argument stands. One of three statues depicting the same creature. This one is wearing headphones. Perhaps they belong to someone who likes music. They're not headphones. They're earmuffs. For blocking out sound. Perhaps they belong to someone who doesn't like music. <laughs> mm. Do you also have a pile of leaves as a clue? Well, not yet. Did you see some suspicious leaves? <laughs> to be all kinds of birds here at Tangle Tower. The most fascinating breeds, all totally unique. Used to be? Uh, there are birds all over the place. Most of them are rather ordinary, I'm afraid. What happened to the non-ordinary ones? That is a very good question. I feel like there's one more clue. Is this one last clue in the garden? It's gotta be, because there's no other areas, unless I figure out the password. No, I don't know. I've seen those earmuffs before. They're the ones Fitz always wears when he's out the front gardening. Always wears? Whenever I've seen him, yes. I think you may wish to adjust your threshold of what you consider to be a clue. <laughs> so many people giving us shade for that. Okay. I gotta go back to the rooftop garden and look around a little bit more. So I feel like there's gotta be the one last clue's gotta be here. Relax. I might just stay. Oh, sure. That'd be great. It leads up towards Flora's tower. It's so relaxing. I might just. Oh, sure. That'd be great. It's so relaxing. I might just. Oh, sure. That'd be great. It's a two person bench. Now, what makes it a two person bench specifically? It looks pretty standard to me. A little pond. It looks. See those metal? Yeah. Nothing. Looks like somebody broke them and then. Hmm. Be careful. We're pretty high up. Yeah, we're on a roof. Ah, a little water. I wonder how it's hooked up. Stairs up to Fitz's room. Why, though? Hmm? So there are two doors into the garden, right? One from the fellow side and one from the pointer side. But they weren't built at the same level. Just seems kind of sloppy. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. <sighs> I don't know. Let me... Listen, let's go back here. All the statements collected. Let's run through them all to see if anything doesn't add up. To see if anyone's been lying. That too. 
Fitz and I were up in the Moonlight Garden most of the afternoon. Then I heard this. We thought it was coming from Flora's tower. So we went The door was locked. So I made Fitz kick down the door. Poppy and I went in. Freya was right there. I left my tower and headed down towards the... But in the hall, I spotted Uncle Pointer heading down the stairs. I vacated the library. But before I could begin my ascent, Professor Pointer... I didn't know what to do. So I ran downstairs to get Fifi. I heard someone heading down the stairs. Just outside my... Someone began banging on the door. I ignored it. Until the someone began shouting at me. Eventually, she let me in. I spotted Detective Hawkshaw coming out of the library. from the pointer staircase. Crossed the hall. As I was passing through the front door, I inquired about the professor, and she told me he'd gone up the fellow town. I told her what had happened. She didn't believe me. She got angry. I thought she was playing a trick on me, so I punched her in the face. <laughs> so I punched her in the face. I recognized Fiona's voice, as well as the voice of my own daughter. left the room? And Poppy's father was waiting outside. I ran up the stairs, hoping to catch up with him, but Felix appeared and blocked my path. Back in the hallway, I bumped him. She was heading up the fellow tower to find Poppy him. left the room for a while. When she came back, she had her father with her, and Fifi, too. Felix and Penny arrived shortly after we did. A moment later, we were gazing down on the body of poor Freya. Then, I took a sample of the red paint on the She took me down to the library. We were in there about 50. I quickly decided that I should leave. I took Penelope with me, and we both went back to our rooms in Pointer Tower. I wanted to go back to my room, but I realized nobody had told Detective Hawkshaw anything. An unremarkable hour passed before the gardener finally made his appearance. I think she was annoyed about being made to when I told her about Freya. She fell silent. That's disappointing. What is? All the statements line up with each other. They don't just line up. Some of them even seem to specifically confirm each other. It doesn't help me. It's a bird bath. It's not just for birds. They're even singing. Do, do, do. Please don't do that. <laughs> Please don't do that. Oh. I forget why did he say he left the tower? I'm sorry, I got I got to do this all over again. Oh, I can like exit out. Fitz and I were up in the moonlight. We heard this. We thought it was coming from Flora's tower. The door was locked. So I made Fitz kick down. Poppy and I went in. I left my tower and headed down towards the grand hall. But in the hall I spotted Uncle Pointer heading down the stairs. I vacated the library. Wait, why did he leave? Professor Pointer appeared. I didn't know what to do. How did he know to so go there? Downstairs to get Fifi. I heard someone heading down the stairs. Someone began banging. Eventually she let me I up. spotted Detective Hawkshaw coming out of the library. He emerged from the pointer staircase, crossed the hall, and begun up the fellow staircase. As I was passing through the front door, I inquired about the professor, and she told me. I told her what had happened. I thought she was playing a trick on me. I recognized Fiona's voice. We left the room. And Poppy's father was waiting outside. Ran up the stairs. Yeah, how did he know? He, why did he leave his tower? He never specified that. Oh, but I don't know what to do. Search the astronomy power. Okay, so I must have missed. Ugh, I must have missed something in the astronomy tower. We already solved it. Okay, that's right. That's where we got the golden beetle thing. Nope, that's wrong. Well, it's tidier than my desk. Mm. So, even the most well-used notebook. Well, it's tidier than notebook. So, even the most well-used notebook. Well, it's tidier than notebook. So, even the most well-used notebook. A picture frame. With no picture. It's full of tea. Criminal. Well, it's tidier than my desk. So, even the most well-used notebook. It's a chart of the Which planet are you from? It's a chart of the Which planet are uh, It's too cloudy to it's see. It's also daytime. Pretty. What is ah, it? It's a uh, large. You're not wrong. Trinkets. Uh, they're clearly gizmos. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. Every astronomy tower needs a. I want to try. Oh, have I never looked at? It? Oh. 
He has a clear view over there, so maybe he saw it take place. It's that little plant Flora keeps on the window ledge. Don't you think it would fall off I in the wind? Maybe it's glued down. You can see right into Flora's room. Not by accident. I can see Flora, but she's not looking this way. She's looking up. Behind her is the back side of the easel holding Freya's unfinished painting. I can't really see anything behind it. Not from this angle. I can see the doorway. It leads into the hall. The door itself is on the floor, knocked off its hinges. Yeah, we know that. I can see the door, the door itself is on the floor. You can see right into floor. Not I can see floor. behind her. I can't really see. I can just about see the gramophone. Is that a window? I think it is. Is there another room on? Is there another room? Yeah. Above Flora's room. We should check that next time we're over there. Yeah. Isn't this supposed to be an astronomy telescope? Yeah. Why is it? I'm pretty sure you need to see the sky for astronomy to work. Yeah. They. It, it, it doesn't. It. I think oh. this is just how it's set up. That's so weird. There's something about yeah. astronomy habits. That's ridiculous. Something suspicious. Let's ask him about it. So, Professor, what interest? I never thought to look at the telescope because it was like a part of him. It's not a matter of being interested. Once you expand your mind to the wider universe, it cannot be unexpanded. Mm hmm. And how long have you been an astronomer? I really don't like to give exact values unless I'm sure I can quantify them. Convenient. Why do you ask me these things? I have a theory about you, Professor. Oh, go on. You're not really interested in astronomy at all. What could you possibly mean by that? I think you're interested in a slightly different field of research. I don't have time for tiny, insignificant insects. My studies focus only on the inconceivably large and the unimaginably far away. Right. That's why you like using your telescope so much. Yes, naturally. My little portal into another world. Yeah, about that. Okay, a pointer telescope was actually looking at the crime scene and not up at the Pointer's sky. Telescope was actually looking at the crime scene and not up at the sky. First, you accuse me of being a lowly entomologist. Yeah. And now you're accusing me of uh, what? Spying? Are you spying? Why would I need to spy on Flora? Why? Because you lost your golden beetle specimen and it's made you paranoid. You think somebody stole it from you. Might not have been Flora you were spying on. Might have been Freya. Yeah. It's his fray was interested in bugs. It's a very precious specimen. Incredibly rare. Valuable in ways you could never understand. <laughs> Freya was always sneaking around. Both towers and in the gardens, too. She was definitely up to something. So, this next question is important. You were looking to Flora's room around the time of the murder. Did you witness the crime, Professor? No, I didn't. When I looked into the room, Flora was already lying on the floor. What? Flora? Flora? You mean Freya? No, Flora. She was lying by the window. I couldn't see Freya at all. It was fairly dark. The telescope isn't at a very good angle. That's why I decided to head over there myself. I needed to know what was going on. This changes your statement, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. No, everything I told you in my statement was true. Apart from the reason you left your tower in the first place. Yeah. Right. Let's go over what we know about the crime scene. Okay. Um, 
I'm going to end the episode here. I know it's it's super exciting, but I'm going to end the episode here. And then I have a feeling we're getting real close to the end. So the next part might be the last part. So I'm going to end the episode here. And on that note, remember to shine your light in every world. Bye. Bye.